Thank you, Stephen. And these strong winds pushed a semi right onto its side along I-25 in Werfano County this morning. The rig then caught fire. This picture sent to us by Charlie Special. Now, News 5's Jesse Mitchell was at the scene. She joins us now live to tell us about the harsh conditions that led to this crash. Lisa, all I can say is it was windy. Windy enough to knock down a semi truck and most of the drivers just had to wait it out until the worst blew over. The driver of this semi and his passenger were taken to the hospital after the truck went up in flames. State troopers say it was just a precautionary measure and there were not any major injuries. They were lucky to escape. It could have been me. I've seen those semis laying in the ditch before and everything else because we do quite a bit of traveling. Don Weber is heading south from Denver with his family. He decided to take a break from the windy conditions, especially after he heard about the crash. The wind was gusting pretty badly. And on the way in, I could see that the trailer was just kind of weaving back and forth. So we just got some gas and pulled over to the side of the road and read a book and got some lunch. But the wind was blowing more than trailers and RVs. Uh, this morning, when I came on duty coming through here at 6 a.m., I advised dispatch that, uh, to put a high wind advisory in effect. And uh, even in my patrol car, it was blowing me all over the roads. Drivers were advised along the interstate. But this one, who was carrying an empty trailer, tried to push through instead of taking an alternate route. So it, it uh, allowed the trailer to be blown over uh, fairly easy, and uh, which in turn turned the truck over as well. So it uh, just all depends on load size and uh, the vehicle. Troopers encourage all drivers to be safe on the wind-heavy open roads. It can help avoid accidents like this, which diverted traffic from the interstate in both directions during cleanup. Slower speeds are advised. Um, and if you don't feel comfortable at the time when you're driving, find an exit to pull off on and, and wait it out. It took multiple Werfano County fire trucks about 30 minutes to clear all the flames. Then tow trucks came in to get the wreckage at about 2 this afternoon, finally opening up the lanes on I-25. Live in Pueblo, Jesse Mitchell, News 5. All right, thanks, Jesse. And of course, know what's happening on those roadways before you leave your